Hey love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and hope the same for you. And it is the weekend, baby. So I hope you are having a blessed week. It's Friday. I know y'all happy. Y'all get ready to relax and y'all know you got plans for the weekend. So I hope it's good. But anyways, if this is your first time coming to my channel, Welcome, Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. If you have been stopping by my channel and watching my videos and have not subscribed yet, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line with you. I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if you just tell me about your experience or your spiritual gifts, or if, even if it's about the content of my video, I love you, the positive feedback. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And even if you enjoy or resonate with the video and you're too shy to go ahead and write anything to me, or you just do not love to come in person, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing what my channel is about. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Thank you so much for the positive, uplifting comments, for the love that you send out, and the prayers it is greatly appreciated. You know, y'all say my prayers all the time. And you know, I'm just so happy. This channel is just growing and growing. People are getting more comfortable on dropping comments, dropping love, and dropping their opinions or views about the things that I discuss. So it is so greatly appreciated. So I tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you and much love. So namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. And today I'm listening to overcome the most comedy, common, uh, common, sorry, common limiting beliefs. Reset your mind from subliminal isochronic meditation. Boy, I picked one that is like a tongue twister to me today. But yeah, I will post that link in the description box below. <laughs> I will post that in the link, that link in the description box below. But yes, um, today my video is about Twin Play 101, Health is Finding Your Way Home. Have you ever had somebody come across, and you know, I've heard that so many times when people talk to me, they say, you feel like home, and I'm like, what? How do you how do you feel like home? I'm like, I ain't even big in the house. I mean, you know, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? But it's just like, when you have that common thing about yourself, and it's just like, I try to send out so much compassion. No matter what I've been through, I said I'm not going to make myself a victim out of what I've been through. That's one thing I'm not going to do. So when I'm trying to find myself way back home, that comfy place where there's love and compassion, that, oh Jesus, you, you know that'll just put you on a whole really different level. But you have to be able to see on that level to be able to get there. When you find your way back home, you'll find yourself a God. And, you know, my dad made a song about that, Find Your Way Back Home. And it was just, you know, it was more things I learned about that song, you know. And it was just like, you know, he had this, um, I didn't know he was my brother's heartbeat, you know, his sonogram heartbeat, you know, in, in the music. I was like, gosh, I love that beat. And then come to find out he used my brother um, Amir's heartbeat for the, you know, first part of the song. And it was just like so touching how he collaborated the things with my brother and then he was talking about me at the same time talking about um you know uh god bless the people who can raise a child like me you know if you open up your eyes you'll be able to see the truth or something you'll see or something like that but i love that song i say i'm trying to mess up the song or whatever but yeah it's just like when you have gone through so many things don't allow the things that you've been through to make you feel like a victim because that's one thing i never do you know, I use what I've been through to be able to push out, a, turn a negative situation into a positive solution. You know, and I, I was just like, I always wanted to be able to help the world, you know, do my part. And I never knew how I was going to do that until I had to go and lose my father, find out, you know, who I really was. Because I really didn't know who I was, even though I knew my name. You know, I knew I had children, I knew who my parents were, well, my adopted parents, but I never knew who I really was, who I really belonged to. 
So it's just like I'm on this journey to find my way back home. And I know there's a lot of people who just say, you know what, with all the stuff that's going on, we don't want to be here. I'm not talking about suicidal, but it's just you don't want to be on this planet no more. It's just me. I just tell people that I, you know, I really talk to. I say sometimes I wish we could just make a planet. And all the negative people, they can go ahead and stay on their planet. <laughs> we can go over here and have fun, have mimosas, and just be chilling. You don't have to worry about no racism, no supremacies, or anything like that. You know, I really wish that. You know, I want my utopia. I'm ready. <laughs> I want my peace. So I'm trying to find my way back home. So I'm helping y'all find y'all's way back home. You know, for you to be able to look upon things. Look at yourself for who you are, the real true self. And I had, I mean, I had to dig for that. I had to dig deep because I didn't know who my true self was because it's been altered so many times. So this time I said, you know what? Since people want to alter your life, you alter your own life on how you want it to be. Because it was just like, I said, how am I going to find my true self? Well, my true self was wiped out years ago. You know, I had people messing with my mind, took me a further hypnosis, wiping memories away, and all that stuff. But it's just like, God has a funny way of having things come back to you when it really needs to. Things that you might not have wanted to see before, you've probably seen them, but you look at them in a different way. You know, I had people that put me through things, I had to forgive them. I really did, I had to forgive them. I didn't forgive them for them, I didn't forgive them for me to give me a peace of mind. You know, and it's just like, when you go through things, I had to really say, you know what, I don't want nobody to go to jail. I don't want nobody to do this. You know, I want you to be happy. You know, whatever God has for you, let God have for you. You know, what's meant for you will be for you. When people, you know, I, I've had people in the past send me things to try to throw doubt in my face about, you know, situations about my dad. That, oh, you'll never get home. Oh, you'll never do this. I, I, I'm like my dad, you know. He has a song, I want to be free. I don't want nobody stepping over me. You know, nobody going to tell me what I'm going to do. There's always a way around something. There's always a way around something, especially if you know that, you know, it was taken in a deceitful way. You know, I can see if it just, you know, happened. But when you force upon somebody and keeping families apart, you telling the family one minute, you telling the child something totally different, you know, your life is altered. But trust and know, I had to keep telling myself, with well, things like that, it's bound to come out. It's bound to come out. You know, so I had to learn from all my pain and all my heartache and know what can I do. You know, start making videos, start making video diaries. Say your piece. You know, you, you can trust anybody. You can tell people what you truly felt. They'll probably think you're crazy. You know, I'd start doing that that way. And then, you know, I'll, I'll start praying again. God asked, you know, I asked for a sign. What's my sign? I'm always on YouTube. I'm always watching YouTube. Okay, let me go ahead and start making videos. Boom, 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 boom. Start finding out so many different things about myself. So I'm finding my way back home. I don't know how I'm going to get there or when I'm going to get there, <laughs> but I'm going to get there. And you are too. So when you find your way back home, search for that true you and that fierce knowledge. Be true to yourself. Be true to others. Let them see the real me. That's why I have to let people see the real me. I've always been showing my real me on here. But it's just the fact that I've been closed off for so long, you know, it is just hard to get back in society. So I'm trying to push myself back out, you know, because I've been shut off so long. So I hope you were able to resonate with the video that I'm putting out. I hope you were able to see something that you probably weren't able to see before, and I hope you have. You know, I'm hoping you find yourself, your true self, walking in your true path of what you're meant to be. You know, we'll get signs, we'll get synchronicities, we'll have, you know, just a person to just stop by just to remind us, you know what, you are not by yourself, you are the strongest person I know, because you, it's just the fact that you got up that next day trying to make a better life for yourself, that takes a strong person to do, because when you have went through stuff, anxiety and all that stuff kick in, anxiety, you know, it's not your best friend, it can suck the life out of you. So, you know, dealing with these things, know that you will get through them. Know you will find your way back home. It's going to be tough, but you will find your way back home. So I hope you were able to resonate with this video. Like and subscribe. You will 
Please, you know, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, even drop me a comment. I would love to get positive feedback or just get a chance to know you. So I hope you stay blessed. Have a blessed weekend. Be safe for everything you do. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be well.